measure complete or comprehensive antioxidant capacity. The ability to quench peroxyl is a meaningful part of the total antioxidant picture, but it's just part of the measurement of comprehensive antioxidant capacity must include the other primary radicals as well. Hydroxyl. Hydroxyl is highly reactive and cannot be eliminated by our body's own antioxidant defenses. It can damage virtually all types of macromolecules such as carbohydrates, nucleic acids, lipids, and amino acids. In the skin, hydroxyl radicals are created by UV exposure. We need to ingest antioxidants that quench hydroxyl in order to protect against the harmful radical. Hydroxyl is measured by the HORAC test. Peroxynitrite is particularly harmful to proteins. It has been implicated in the development of various health issues including inflammation. In the skin, peroxynitrite contributes to the breakdown of vital proteins such as collagen. It is measured by the NORAC test. Superoxide anion. Superoxide anion is a precursor of all other reactive oxygen species. Sometimes referred to as the mother of free radicals, it is highly toxic and tr contributes to lipid or fat and DNA damage. Antioxidants that scavenge superoxide anion also help prevent the formation of radicals such as hydrogen peroxide and hydroxyl. Superoxide anion has been linked to hypertension and cardiovascular damage. It is measured by the SORAC test. Singlet oxygen. In the skin, singlet oxygen is generated by UV. Inside our bodies, it is linked to the oxidation of LDL cholesterol and poor cardiovascular health. Singlet oxygen is highly unstable and durable. It is measured by the SOAC test. 